Welcome to the Heater Tips channel. In this video, we're going to check how a tip over protection works. And for this, I have prepared two different space heaters, two different electric space heaters with a built in tip over protection. And both kinds of tip over protection are of a different type. So we're going to have a look at each of those types. There are probably many more types, but I have just two examples for you. And I think to get the concept, that's enough. So let's turn on this electric oil filled radiator and I hope you can see that the lamps are turned on now. This one has two heating settings that's why there are two buttons and two lamps. You can turn one off and you can turn it on again. So now the lamps are turned on and when I lift the heater and tip it over, see the lamps are turned off now. That means the heater has shut off and now I tip it in the other direction again. And now it's turned on again. Uh, it's getting hot right now because that heater was actually quite hot and I was holding it the entire time while recording this video. Okay, so what happened? I was holding the heater and I tipped it over. And after I tipped the heater over a certain angle, then that after that tipping sound, the heater shut off. So that means that internally the tip over protection must be some kind of loosely um, attached electric switch, maybe with a metal weight that is conductive for electricity. And when the loosely attached switch tips over, then it contacts some kind of conductor, maybe some kind of sensor, or it closes some circuit internally that tells the heater, hey, I'm tipped over, and then the heater turns off. So it's a very simple tip over protection. And because it's so simple, that means it will probably safely work for decades to come. And that's what I really like about those oil filled radiators. It's that there are very few things that can break in them. And the everything that's implemented in them is very simple from a technical perspective. There's no fancy electronics, no um, elaborated circuitry, there's no uh, dig digital computations going on inside and you can think of these kinds of things happening in more advanced heaters. I don't know that but it could be and I personally prefer to rely on these classic type of heaters. Um, they just work and that's what I like about them. Okay so let's have a look at the second type of heater that I brought with me. It's this infrared heater and the tip over protection of this heater is also pretty simple. Maybe it can even be considered simpler than that of the oil filled radiator. But yeah, both are great. So on the bottom of the heater, there's a small button that I'm pressing right now. I hope you can see it. And when this button is pressed down, the heater assumes that it's standing on solid ground. Okay because when it's standing on the ground, then the ground, the floor, is pressing that button. Okay, you see that the infrared heating elements already start getting hot and right, okay, let me arrange that heater so that you can see. Okay, and now I let go of the button and the infrared heating elements immediately turn off. So that's also a very simple tip over protection. And that's what I like about electric space heaters, especially the classic ones, the regular infrared heaters, the, the regular oil food radiators. They are just devices that work and the technology is very simple and simple technology is always the best. So it seems that this button closes some circuit that tells the heater that it can be turned on because it's standing and when it falls over then the button is let go and it shuts off because it assumes that it's tipped over. Also this protects the heater from being placed on a carpet. Now the infrared heater is probably safe to run on carpet but if you have a very um, wooly carpet something that ignites easily then that comfortable carpet will probably not be able to press down this button and it will prevent you from running that space heater on top of the carpet. So that's a, a nice bonus. You could run the oil filled 
radiator uh, in comparison on a carpet, but also it's standing on an elevated uh, construction. It has the wheels and there's some space below the oil filled radiator. So there's no risk with that as well. So that was my short uh, talk on, on the tip over protection of electric space heaters. I hope this was insightful for you. I hope I could uh, show you how it works and yeah. Now before you leave, I have something for you. I have created a free cheap heating course. You can get it by signing up for the, my email newsletter in the description down below. The URL is heatertips.com slash mail. After signing up, you will receive a free video that tells you exactly how you can heat for just two cents an hour which is very cheap. And if you want to know about that method, it's kind of funny, but it works. Then just sign up for the email newsletter in the description down below. I will update you with new courses, new heating tips and money saving tips occasionally. Okay. And also if this video was helpful for you, then leave a like and comment down below, ask me any question and I will be happy to answer them. So see you next time. Bye.